everyone. It's Shella here reporting. We are at Exchange LA. It's the biggest night in music, which means even bigger after parties. The Grammys after parties, sponsored by Monster Headphones. Uh, Katy Perry sang her song tonight, um, Chained to the Rhythm. Almost didn't get that one right. Chained to the Rhythm. And the song, if you guys have listened to the lyrics, it's all about the Trump administration and... Oh, it is? oh yeah. It's all about Stay in, in your bubble. You know how Obama said that in your bubble thing. Get out of your bubble. Picket white fences, all that stuff. Well, it broke records on Spotify. So, do you think with the current political climate that you're going to see more people shifting into like political songs? Are you guys going to be doing anything like that? No, not us, but you're going to see more of it. I really believe that. Definitely see more. I mean, I, I think the why is that? The whole resist thing. I think there's. I think it's sparked a whole lot of. It's woke up, woken a lot of people up to what's really going on with some things, and I think it's great. I think it's causing a lot of uh, people get more involved in what we need to be involved in to, to start to change things. We got woke. Yeah, I voted, but it didn't, didn't help. You know, Californians, we I swear to God, we were the three million that bumped her over, and then it just didn't count. I'm here with Iman. She is a Grammy-winning did you win for songwriting or for, for Lush Life? For Lush Life with Zara Larson. Adorable girl, adorable songwriter. Do you think that political songs, like because of the political climate, you're going to start seeing more political songs? Definitely, yeah. Are you going to do any? I have, actually. I mean, like the song I wrote for Sarah, it was kind of like. It was like I wanted to show people that she's not about like being a broken hearted girl, always like being sad, singing about boys. It's not put it political, but it's still like it's girl power. Yeah, it's girl power, yeah. So like yeah, that's my yeah. I would say that, yeah. What up guys, it's Shella. I'm here with Amani Presley. She's a Grammy made Grammy dated. Grammy dated. I made up a word. She's a Grammy nominated producer and songwriter. Holy cow. Tell me about your life. Did you go to the Grammys? Did you watch them? How was it? I, I actually watched them, and um, when I did, it was just like, ooh, like, I, I, you know, like, fire shut up in my bones. Yes, but it was great just being nominated, um, a blessing in itself. So, yes. Um, Super Bowl performances. Whose was better, Beyonce or Lady Gaga? <laughs> you know, I got to give it to Queen B. But Come on, ladies, now let's get information. <laughs> I mean, that's my personal yeah. moves. Very, very impressive. I mean, very impressive. Who runs the world? Yes, ma'am. Who runs the world? All right, who runs the world, girls? We do. I, my hands are full, otherwise I would like do all of the, I would look exactly like Beyonce. And right, I know, lovely. I'm here with Lady L. Lady L, did you go to the Grammys? Did you watch them? Tell me about it. I watched some of it. I was intending to go, but I wasn't able to, unfortunately. Busy day. Busy day. All right, so who was your favorite standout performance of the day? Beyonce. I love so easy, it's like, duh. Of course. Some people actually have to think about it. I'm like, come on, Beyonce reformed. It was just so grand. It was so royal. It was just gorgeous. Her amazing belly. Yeah, and I just love that she was embracing her motherhood and how she was making pregnancy not only be as beautiful as it is, but she was showing the world, like, this is the strength that we women carry. And I'm all about empowering women, so I love that. Females are strong as hell. We are. Do you think we're going to see, like, an uptick of political songs? I hope so. I think this is the time to express what you really feel and what you stand for and to be brave and speak your mind in a, you know, hot time as this politically. Do you think you're going to be planning anything of that sort? Um, I think I've always written songs that are true to who I am and what I've experienced or what I want to experience. I'm not sure I'll go that route all the way, but I do believe in, in standing for, you know, um, basically freedom, who you are, what you feel like you should be able to express, and especially as women, because with all the things that we're being um, deprived from right now, as far as our rights, you know, that should definitely come out in songs in some shape or form. Hey, follow me. You heard it first. Hey. <laughs>